Hey everybody, it's Barry with BarryIndependent.com and today for RefugeMedical.com. We're going to talk about the March algorithm and TCCC, Tactical Combat Casualty Care, and why that matters for you. Before I do that, brief asterisk, caveat. This is information only. This is not instruction. There is no better use of your time than to go actually train on this stuff whether it's at refugetraining.com or any other good tactical medicine trainer. Um, you have to train this stuff with your hands. You need the automaticity with your hands. You need to know how to do it. So my goal here today is this is not instruction. This is information. And I have been asked many times by hundreds of people to produce this series of videos and I haven't done it because I don't want you to get a false sense of confidence and think that you've been trained you've not been trained till you come to class so please come to class whether it's with us or anybody else go to class take a stop the bleed protocol take a TCCC class take a TECC class EMT class EMR whatever you can get your hands on please go train okay so this is information not instruction so with that, let's talk about March. March is massive bleeding, airway, respiratory, circulation, head injury, hypothermia, and then everything else. So the March E algorithm, we just call it March. March was developed by the tactical, the Committee on Tactical Combat Casualty Care. Essentially, the 75th Ranger Regiment served as a test ground, a petri dish, if you will, for the development of the TCCC protocols. And over 20 years on the global war on terror, a lot of lessons were learned about how we keep casualties alive. Back in the day, and unfortunately still in some cases for trauma medicine, which trauma medicine is defined as critical bleeding. We're dealing with critical bleeds. It's still taught, unfortunately, the ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. And the problem with maintaining a patent airway first is oxygenating the blood through a patent airway, meaning an airway that works, doesn't matter if the blood is leaking out of the body at such a rate that the casualty could exsanguinate and die, that they could bleed out. And so that's where March came from, to address initially what were considered battlefield injuries that people were experiencing in the global war on terror. Now, that has been applied to TECC, Tactical Emergency Casualty Care, for the civilian market. Because unfortunately, civilians are involved in gunfights. Unfortunately, school shootings and church shootings are a real thing. And Uvalde, Texas, for me, was kind of a 9-11 moment for me. Everything changed because we know from lessons learned in the Virginia Tech shooting that proper medical intervention saves lives in that situation. And you don't have a lot of time when we're dealing with a massive bleed, for example, if, if you stick your hand out and raise your thumb up and look at your thumb, that's the diameter of your femoral artery. And if you have a critical bleed to the femoral artery, you have about 90 seconds before you've lost enough blood that you then begin to pass out. And when you pass out, you're definitely not rendering self-aid because you're passed out. So you've got about 90 seconds to fix that problem. And so that's why we focus first with March on massive bleeding because it covers statistically about 90 plus percent of the casualties that represent preventable deaths in the United States of America. Civilian preventable deaths, nine out of 10 are uncontrolled bleeding. And so we wanna be able to stop the bleed. The other 10% or so are represented by the remainder of the March algorithm, airway and respiratory, circulation, head injury, hypothermia, and then everything else. And we'll get into those in this future series of videos, which I intend to be about eight episodes long. And I would greatly appreciate it if you could please share this with every educator that you know, so that we can save as many kids as possible. Uh, and I, you should absolutely have good kits. We sell the best kits on the market at refugemedical.com. I don't care if you get them from me or anybody else, as long as it's a good kit. And I'm gonna show you what goes into a good kit here. I am not trying to sell kits on the backs of dead children here. I'm trying to save lives. So 
I don't care where you get a good kit from as long as you get a good kit so that we're clear on that. So the March algorithm, TCCC, Tactical Combat Casualty Care. The idea here, all of these are lessons that have been learned in blood and we want to learn from these, whether we're a soccer mom or a warehouse worker or a truck driver or a school superintendent or a teacher or a tactical guy or a law enforcement officer, whatever your role in life may be, a church pastor, uh, whatever your role in life may be, we're around people. And if you have blood in your body and air in your lungs, this stuff should matter to you. 7% of the world's population statistically wears body armor as part of their job, whether, you know, soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, law enforcement officers, tactical crews on EMS and fire, security guards, whatever it may be. The other 93% are people that unfortunately are blissfully unaware of how close they are to potential death every day. Statistically, in the United States of America, the most dangerous thing you do is drive. On average, the average motorist will be involved in one motor vehicle accident every five years. The most dangerous thing you do is drive, whether this is your minivan, your dump truck, your Peterbilt, um, your school bus, whatever it may be. And so we need to onboard the idea that March applies to you, that critical bleeding might be something that you have to deal with. And of the 41 lives that have been saved to date that we know of by refuge medical kits, half of them have been motor vehicle accidents in the United States of America, half of them. A handful have been cool guys doing cool guy stuff with gear like this overseas protecting your freedoms. A handful have been law enforcement officers. A handful have been EMS uh, personnel responding to critical incidents. Half have been civilians involved in motor vehicle accidents. That's something that you should onboard. And so in this series of videos, we're gonna go through tourniquets and how to stage them, how to apply tourniquets different types of tourniquets and what those applications are for. Wound packing using hemostatic gauze and compressed gauze. The application of chest seals. What an open pneumothorax, a tension pneumothorax, and a simple pneumothorax are. How to deal with head injuries. Uh, hypothermia and why it matters. It's part of what's called the lethal triad, all of which are related to blood loss, which is coagulopathy, acidosis, and hypothermia. Um, we're gonna deal with everything else, which for us is an onus to recheck the casualty for secondary wounds that we might have missed when we first examined the casualty. And then we will touch on what's called March pause. Pause is P-A-W-S, which is um, antibiotics, uh, pain, manage pain management, antibiotics, wounds, and splinting. I wanna be clear that this series of videos is designed to be an introductory level of information for you. Hopefully it equips you with an understanding of how to put together a competent, good trauma kit. This, these are not boo-boo kits. This is not Sally fell off her bike and skinned her knee or little Johnny fell down on the playground or I, you know, I nicked my finger while I was cutting an onion in the kitchen. These are not those types of first aid kits. These are life-saving first aid kits, which unfortunately there's not a critical mass of out there in the world yet. There's a fundamental misunderstanding of trauma medicine out in the world, and it begins with keeping the blood inside the body. And so we're gonna go over tourniquets, wound packing, uh, hypothermia, head injuries, circulation, all that stuff in this series of videos. And uh, I wanted to shoot this video first as a cursory introduction of the subject matter that we're gonna cover and discuss with you the different types of things that we're gonna be doing. So please share this out. If you're new here, please subscribe. I appreciate you greatly. Um, there's always a promo code going at Refuge Medical. You can use Bear Nation for free shipping on anything in the store. And if you're a teacher, you can use promo code teacher and that'll get you 10 bucks off of this bleeding control kit that should be in the top drawer of every desk in every school in the entire world. And I'm gonna teach y'all informationally in this series of videos how to use this stuff. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I appreciate you greatly. Let's save some lives. Shalom.